Peace be with you everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Trevor, really grateful to have you here. And today's video I'm just gonna be recommending 10 men's colognes that are under $100 at certain discounters online for Father's Day gifts. So some of the major fragrance notes or accords that are gonna be featured in this list to help um, capture a sense of dignity and honor and old school masculinity that would be reserved for father figures in our lives are going to be lavenders, citruses, green notes, as well as uh, there's quite a number of fragrances in this list that feature the note of tobacco. So some of that old school kind of feel from a time where people were smoking in restaurants, that sort of thing, where our fathers were growing up in. So without further ado, I'm going to recommend 10 fragrances under $100, starting off with this one right here, Roberto Capucci. Uh, I believe this is R Roberto Capucci Ohm, or R Roberto Capucci for him. Uh, it's in this triangular bottle right here. This is a really nice, beautiful citrus aromatic fragrance with a heavy dose of tobacco. Kind of reminds me of like a citrus cola, almost as if it was a lemon-lime Coke, like uh, mixing Sprite and Coke together to some degree. It definitely has a little bit of an old-school sensibility to it, it um, but I don't think it's overly dated, and while I do think it is discontinued, I know they've got 100 mLs of this going on eBay and FragranceNet for right around the $30 mark. Really great stuff. I've got a little bit of a dent in it myself, but like I said, awesome year-round fragrance because it's got that cola aspect to it from the tobacco in here that makes it really great for winter and fall with some some of the best citruses in any cheapy that I've ever tried, honestly. Uh, that's Cap Roberto Capucci Him, or just Capucci Pour Home, I believe is what it's called. Uh, I think I picked mine up for $20, $20 on fragrance set. Number 9 in this list is going to be the original John Varvatos Eau de Toilette. Another good year-round fragrance. The Rockstar aesthetic, I felt, would be good for some fathers. I know that they grew up in that 70s rock and roll era. era. Um, so if your father has that kind of taste and aesthetics, maybe this would be good for him if he's somebody that plays guitar or listens to Led Zeppelin, that sort of thing. Because this has that little bit of a fresh aromatic side to it. I believe there's some lavender in here and then uh, like some leather that makes it a little bit more edgy. That and uh, I think a, a unique date note that gives it a certain fruitiness that's not so um, uh, silly or uh, unserious. So yeah, this is a really nice signature fragrance that I could see being worn by uh, certain father figures in our lives. That's John Barbados Eau de Toilette. And you can usually find this one for under $30 or so. Okay, number eight spot is going to 1920 The Origin from the House of Tous or Taus. Uh, so this fragrance riffs on the Cartier Declaration DNA. You can go and just get uh, any of the Cartier declarations, I think uh, mm, those fragrances and its flankers are going to be great for Father's Day gifts as well. You can usually find 100 mLs of those for under $100. However, this one you can usually find for under $40, and I think this is a really nice in-between offering of, if you're not familiar with the DNA, it's a very like fresh, spicy, um, kind of fragrance. Uh, it's got some like culinary aspects to it, so you would imagine spices like uh, kitchen cabinet spice, but then there's a certain freshness from some aromatic notes in there. And then what this one does different from the actual Cartier offerings is that it's got a really nice dose of ambroxan. So it's got this fuzzy texture to it. It's got a little bit of an extra push and uh, a bit of a modern take on that DNA so while this still has that mature vibe that the Cartier Declaration fragrances have I think it modernizes it just enough to make this a really great gift idea and you, like I said you can usually find this for under 40 that's Taos 1920 the origin Eau de Parfum 
Okay, number seven spot. This is Patrick from Fragrances of Ireland. Really, uh, to sum this fragrance up simply, it's Irish Spring Soap. If you're familiar with that type of soap that they sell at the drugstores. Um, if not, it's just a very classical fougere, but it's very light. There are some spicy qualities to this that make it wearable in colder weather, but overall it's just a really nice bright fougere that leans more into the fern aspect of the green aromatic qualities of what a fougere is trying to do and less so than the shaving foam lavender barbersol emphasis. This is more of a green rolling hill Irish spring soap style fragrance. It is a eau de cologne I believe but I do get really good longevity for a cologne around four to six hours with this one and you can pick this up for I believe forty dollars even directly from fragrances of Ireland and I think there are like uh, a few other discounters where you can find this. I'll try to link it in the description, but that's the number seven spot. Patrick, Fragrances of Ireland. Really great gift idea for Dad. Okay, uh, number six spot. Dolce & Gabbana's Pour Homme. Classic aromatic citrus lavender tobacco. Really simple, elegant, masculine fragrance. Easy to wear, year-round versatility. Great idea for a gift and you can usually find these for like 125 ml for $40 or so. This is a 75 ml I think you can get for under 30 a lot of the times. This is a great gift idea. This was actually a gifted to me from my wife and it's one that I've obviously gotten a lot of enjoyment out of. And like I said, it is, is a very simplistic fragrance. It smells almost like you would imagine walking into a department store with like a uh, admixture of all of the testing of colognes going out in the air and just kind of clean, fresh, new clothes, that sort of smell. Um, just very generic, but all, done in a very elegant way. It's extraordinary by being extraordinary, if that makes sense. So that's Dolce & Gabbana's Pour Homme. Really great gift idea for uh, any guy in your life, I would say. Affordable as well. Next one is a discontinued fragrance. You used to be able to get this for like 20 bucks. Uh, now it's going around 60 to 70. I still think it's worth that price, especially if you're gifting it to someone because it is a quality product, in my opinion, and that is Aramis's Havana. Uh, so again, this is a tobacco-centric fragrance. You kind of get like a big red chewing gum sort of vibe to it, but there's not any sweetness in it per se other than the natural sweetness that you would get out of a, a tobacco accord. And this is very dry, medicinal, herbal, but versatile. It's bright. It's got a certain um, fresh, spicy quality to it that I would say is wearable even in the summertime. Very colorful, just very uh, strong oak moss as well. You can definitely tell that this could cut through smoke-filled rooms back in the day. And it's got just a certain mature charm to it that I think is a perfect fit for a father. So uh, if you don't mind kind of digging around online for a good deal for this one, I think this is really worth owning and gifting. That's Aramis's Havana. Okay, we are in the top four. We've got the four spot going to Guerlain's Vetiver. This is my scent of the day and part of the inspiration for this list. You can usually find 100 mLs in this bottle style for right around uh, anywhere between like 60 and 80, I think is, uh, and then you, a lot of the times the five ounce bottles of these are also online for still under $100. Um, really nice, beautiful, soapy, elegant fragrance, but it's got this little bit of darkness and um, a, more of a mature vibe because of some tobacco and myrrh in here that just gives it a little bit more of this austerity than your average vetiver scent, I would say, but otherwise it's just a really awesome green, soapy, but also uh, serious fragrance that I think is great for anybody that you take seriously in your life like a father figure and 
like I said, uh, easily available at discounts for under $100, and a classic iconic fragrance. That's Guerlain's Vetiver. Okay, uh, this one you have to, uh, you can only get the 50 mLs for under $100, and you'd have to buy it directly from the um, brand that is Chanel, and this is Chanel's Platinum Ego East. This is a 100 mL bottle, but you can get the 50 mLs from them for $96. And this is just one of the best shaving foam fresh fragrances uh, so you're just a classic barbershop shaving foam style fragrance it's got a little bit of a metallic edge but uh, a re really safe buy I would say if you want to give something to somebody easy to wear inoffensive good for the office uh, name brand I don't think you can go wrong with a Chanel as a gift especially so um, not going to spend too much time on this one that's uh, 50 ml for 96 Chanel's Platinum Ego East great for any male figure in your life, especially dads. Okay, um, number two spot going to the House of Dior. That is the original Eau Sauvage Eau de Toilette. Uh, so this is a really just citrus aromatic fragrance. It's a little bit more mature or old school because the green oak mossy qualities in here are just it's not dated the way that it's done in here it's it's a timeless classic scent that I think will always be relevant but it, it is more mature so it's something that makes uh, Father's Day and dads come to mind when I smell it because it does uh, it, it, uh, it's a fragrance that's a little bit more serious it's not so playful or bubble, bubble gummy it's got like some medicinal nuances but some of the best citruses in any fragrances that I've smelled in my entire collection coming off of the top of that green oak mossy quality so really beautiful stuff and I think a great gift for dad also that's Dior Eau Sauvage Eau de Toilette and you can usually find these for right around hundred dollars at discounters and uh, now rounding things off at the number one spot uh, the most expensive and the only niche on this list you can only get a 30 ml or a one ounce bottle of this for under a hundred and it's going to be running you right around eighty five dollars but that is mousse illumine from rogue perfumery so this is a 75 ml bottle but you can get the you can get these for like right around 156 maybe a little bit less if you find a coupon code for wherever you're shopping at but for eighty five dollars you can get a 30 ml bottle which is a great gift size I think uh, also the 30 ml bottles kind of look more like a, a little package or a gift so it's got a certain uh, you know cute aesthetic for gifting to somebody that this one doesn't quite have I would say but um, amazing green kind of lemon lime soda vibe going on very bright mousse illumine translates to the illuminated moss I think that's a perfect name for this fragrance there's some slight creaminess going on in the base that's almost shaving foam like but not quite because there's no real lavender in this and just like a really well done kind of rough textured oak moss very beast mode you wouldn't need very many sprays with this which is another reason why I think the 30 ml is a great gift size uh, awesome stuff and definitely worth checking out if you've never heard of this brand before. That's Moose Illuminate from Rogue Perfumery, rounding off the number one spot for Father's Day gift ideas. Okay, so that was uh, all ten of my recommendations for under $100. I'll try to uh, link in the description some of the best discounters where I could find the best prices at. Um, let me know what some of your suggestions are if you plan on getting your dad a Father's Day gift this upcoming Father's Day. And I really appreciate you sticking with me to the end of the video. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.